Welcome back to V-Rule. It is Thursday, where we look at our Thirsty Thursday, finding out what kind of deals we are all thirsty for. Of course, we're just thirsty for any deal, right? Pokemon deals are really getting to be more and more common. For a long while, they weren't, but there are so many great shops online. A few here that I haven't actually purchased from, so I want to put up that little warning there. I haven't had a personal experience with them. I've seen other people who've had experience with them, and they seem like a little bit more trustworthy sources. So through the grapevine, I think there's a little bit of trust here as far as the community can tell here. If you've had experiences with any of these different sellers, I'd appreciate you adding that down to the comments below. And that can be your qualifier. That could be a qualifier to winning one of the four prizes because all you got to do is like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Once we hit 2,500 subscribers, this is happening. The Galarian Articuno tin from Crown Zenith, two three-pack blisters from Stellar Crown, and a Pokemon mystery prize. So four different prizes going out to four winners, and you just got to be a part of the channel. It's really not that hard. We just have to hit that threshold, 2,500 subscribers. We are so close. In fact, we're so close that I think I might add an additional prize for the 2,000 subscriber mark. I think we need to hit that, do a little giveaway. So let me think on that of what we can do and how we can get there. But we need to look at these deals and uh, take a look here. Oh, also an additional comment here at this video. That's the one. This is the video where you need to go do your additional comment there and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That's the one where I'm pulling the comments from to pick out the four winners. Let's jump in. Here we go. PokemonCenter.com. Now, these are not going to be high deals or anything like that, but maybe it's availability, especially the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. These are something that have become a collection favorite of mine. Uh, I like to get on it with a pre-order if possible. I did pre-order Shrouded Fable. It sold out, and then upon release date of the ETBs, which was delayed, if you remember, to the 23rd of August, uh, a little funky, I think people were already burnt out. Once they re-release these, they usually sell out in a day or two because it's a smaller supply, but I think people were burnt out on Shrouded Fable because the pull rates were so poor and everybody went for those collection boxes where the promos were there the peach run uh in this one i don't know if the promo looks that good or not i haven't seen it in person it looks okay but i don't think it's going to be a heavy hitter uh, in the long run but that is available there twilight masquerade also available a couple sword and shield boxes here we have astral lost origin brilliant stars um not in that order there i don't know why i did that but uh we do have some sword and shield era boxes available as well uh back to Darkness Ablaze, Battle Styles, Pokemon Go, well, that one's not really worth 65 in my opinion. Uh, the exclusivity, it's kind of cool, but outside of that, uh, if you're going to open it, don't open that. Uh, it's not worth the, the price difference there. Shining Fates, look how far back we're going, and Shining Fates is still around. Uh, everything else looks to be sold out as far as ETBs. Uh, I only want to point out this here on Pokemon Center, some of these things that we want, might see a little bit later here. Astral Radiance showing up still. Uh, there's some Paldea Evolved, if you're looking to open some of that, maybe hunt for that Magikarp. There's quite a few things in here, some loose packs that are good and sleeved packs that are good. Uh, I wouldn't pay the booster box prices here, as we will see, but Surging Sparks is available. If you have no other option as far as how to obtain them, this is probably one of the best prices you're going to find for Silver Tempest, so that's something to note there. We have Zulu's Games. This is one I have purchased from in the past, been very good uh, for me specifically, so I haven't encountered any issues with them. Uh, timely delivery, everything comes safe all uh, that good stuff and i believe it's like a hundred dollar minimum order for free shipping so not hard to get to as you know but let's take a look surging sparks here booster box and etb coming in at 140. we may see a better price than that coming up soon so you don't have to jump in so early but really if you think about it a 50 dollar box at msrp coming down to 40 dollars, and you have a 160 dollar msrp that's not going to happen 110 is pretty obvious to find or realistic to find on a booster box coming down to 100 dollars. now that gives you your 140 uh it actually adds up to being a pretty good deal this one's okay if we play that same game we have 100 here on the booster box 40 there okay maybe it's 20 bucks for the booster bundle okay so now we're at 160 and then you have 10 dollars for each three pack all right there's there's something there so maybe it's okay uh it's a little bit more than i'd want to be spending on this i don't really go for the booster bundles on a set that has a booster box but i understand if that's something you're interested in they're going at 110 on their booster box alone they're going at 40 alone here so just like i was saying uh, if you're going to be getting at that price there this is actually pretty decent when you bundle the two together. So $11.99 when it's literally $13.99. Uh, not too bad. I think that's pretty much the going rate right now. You might find it a little bit cheaper, but let's move on over here to Safari Zone. 
ninety dollars. Ninety dollars on the Terrapogus EX Ultra Premium Collection. Uh, Pokemon really was getting these things out here. They've been great products in the past, but for some reason I feel like this is falling short. I feel like that Greninja box, which it turns out is going to be a GameStop exclusive, is also falling short. The only reason I have an interest in that Greninja box is for the metal card, even though I don't like the metal card they chose, because they don't do a lot of metal cards, so it's a tiny little sub-collection uh, of mine. So I'll probably get one to get it as a sealed, I don't really think I want to take the time of opening it. The pack selection is okay, but we'll see. Uh, but these prices are kind of plummeting on the front end of the release of these uh, different Ultra Premium collections. I think the pre-sales are not going as well as one might have expected or hoped. So I don't know if we'll see flash sales going too much lower, maybe at the $80 range if we're you know lucky. But I, I wouldn't be jumping on this yet. It sounds like they're going to be readily available. Uh, I thought this was a dis decent little bundle here. The Paradox Destinies tin set, there's four. Usually these are retailing about $25 per tin. So you'd see, expect 100 bucks, and here you can get it for 80 for the set of four. If that's something you're into, you get the promo. You get, I believe it's five packs each. So not an amazing deal when you go for per pack price, but uh, uh, it's okay if it's something you're looking to pick up anyways there. $100 on Stellar Crown Booster Box for a pre-order here. Not too bad. Uh, I've been finding 105 110 pretty consistently, so 100 is pretty good uh, to be at that point there. I don't know what they require for free shipping, or maybe they don't even do free shipping. I don't know. I haven't used Safari Zone before, but they've been around a little while, and I've heard a lot of good things from them. $130. Now, this is a pretty good deal, because if you're going to do $100 on the Stellar Crown Booster Box, that 30 bucks to get the ETB looks like a pretty sweet deal. If you're looking to pick a both up, then that combo is going to do well for you on Stellar Crown. We're going to look over at Smoke and Mirrors. Similar situation over here. $33. Okay, not bad when you're going for the ETB on its own. You can go by the cases. There's a better deal than that. Uh, Shrouded Fable. Again, we were waiting for those ETBs. Now they're out, and the price is already plummeting. It's not really holding on to anything close to MSRP. MSRP is $50. Finding it at $40 would be a reasonable sale price on these ETBs, but here we are pushing down to $37. The fact that that pre-sale is at $33, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Continuing on smoking mirrors here, the bundle there. $128.99. Didn't we just see this over here somewhere? Yeah, $129.99. So you want to save a dollar, that's fine. $150 is their uh, free shipping uh, threshold, so you're going to need to add more to get that free shipping. you got to weigh the options, figure out what works for you. Forge and Fire. Uh, just wanted to point out, because Twilight Masquerade actually does have a lot of hype still, that Greninja price is pretty high up there. So when you're looking at Twilight Masquerade, if you're looking to open a few more packs, we're at a good pack price here at $34 on the ETB. Not too bad there. Again, it's plummeting $35 for Shrouded Fable. This just came out, folks. Shrouded Fable did not just come out. The ETB did. Pretty crazy that it's plummeting so quickly. The best thing Shrouded Fable has for it and I'm sorry to say this, but the best thing it has for it is the artwork on the box. That's it. The Greninja promo, the Kingdra promo, those are good. Cassiopeia, if you were lucky enough to pull it so hard to do so, uh, I pulled one special illustration rare, and that, in my opinion, was a fluke for the pull rates of this set for me to actually pull one at all. Uh, so uh, it is a peach run. So to be hunting packs... Probably not the best way to go. Going with single cards is going to be a lot cheaper in the long run. The pack artwork is okay, but the booster, or sorry, the ETB artwork is pretty cool when you get the color scheme in there uh, and these three Pokemon on there are featured. So 35 bucks, not too bad there. Uh, $10 on the three pack. Three pack blister, uh, yeah, blister for the uh, $10 price point with your peach run. This is the only one. Most sets have two different three packs with two different promos, but they only did one on Shrouded Fable. I thought that was interesting. We do have 98 97 when we get into this here, and they have a bulk pricing, and the bulk starts at 2 That's pretty nice. Most bulk doesn't start until you get to the case, which would be 6 All right, so getting at 2 you get a dollar off. It's not much, but take the savings where you can get it, right, folks? Forge and File coming in there. I don't know their shipping uh, threshold. Anybody know what that one is? I, I, I haven't worked with them, so I uh, don't know for sure. Uh, $128.99. We're coming down a dollar from what we've seen previously in other sites here. So Stellar Crown, Booster Box, ETB Bundle. This is going to be where you start nitpicking between the taxes and the shipping and the fact that there's a dollar difference between them. You know, you kind of have to play that game because a dollar here, a dollar there, that can go to future collection spending. So, uh, you know, budget appropriately. But if you can get a better deal save the buck over and over and over again and it becomes 
a dozen. It becomes a hundred, you know. Over time, you're going to be able to invest a little bit smarter along the way here. This is a very new one coming out here on a pre-order, Grand Adventure Collection. There's been stuff uh, circulating on this here. And we do have these, like, stamped promos, it looks like. So they're not really, pr I mean, they are a promo. They are, sorry. They are a promo coming out with the stamp on there. That's cool. Something a little different, uh, like you'd get in a build and battle kit where you get a stamped version of a card, but this is kind of cool. Pokemon Horizons coming out here. Terrapogos and Friends uh, for the entire group there. And what is it? Four packs, I guess? Something like that? Yeah, four packs, a jumbo, and two promos. Not a bad set for $14.99. Okay, 15 bucks to get that collection box. It actually has a lot of color, a lot of different things going for it. Uh, it fits in nicely into this era. So this actually would be a f one of the few collection boxes that I would be looking to pick up and add as a sealed piece. I don't have to go crazy. I don't need a case of them, and I don't need to open them. The pack selection is going to really be that Surging Sparks there. Maybe there's going to be a couple Stellar Crown. Um, that would make sense if you're going to be featuring Terrapogos. So probably two Stellar Crown, two Surging Sparks. Not a bad pack selection. At this point, from what we know, we don't know pull rates. Haven't seen the packs really, but uh, from what we do know, as far as what's been coming out, as far as set lists and everything, uh, it looks like this is actually a pretty good buy, and I've actually seen it listed a lot higher places that were trying to bank on the FOMO of pre-sales. I saw it listed for $50 for one. For one, I was like, oh, that's like a case or something, right? No. No, it wasn't a great deal on a case. It was a terrible deal for one. So be careful where you go. Uh, I have not worked with uh, Paladin cards here before. So 150 is their minimum. You're going to have to get up there a little bit just to get that free shipping. But maybe some of these other deals will get you closer to it when we go to Surging Sparks. Already doing those pre-orders at the Booster Box and ETB for $140 there. We've been seeing that consistent $140 all the way down to $130 price on Stellar Crown and now into Surging Sparks. These, I think, have a lot more hype to them than some previous sets um, because of the artwork because of what's been leaking out within the sets and what we should expect in here we're not showing the promo here uh, but we are getting through this next wave of Scarlet and Violet era, if we take Sword and Shield as any sort of metric you see those last handful of sets really coming coming up with the better hits the, the better I don't know if it was better pull rates, but you felt like you got a little bit more out of the trainer gallery and glaring galleries out of those. So these later sets in Sword, uh, sorry, Scarlet and Violet may be offering a little bit more to us in the long run. So I'm kind of looking to the horizon, seeing what's coming out. We have the Evolution set coming out. We have a Rocket set coming out. We have Jim. Uh, hero style set coming out. There's a lot of great stuff on the horizon. I'm getting more excited about that. If you're just getting into Pokemon and you think you missed the boat on Alt Arts with Sword and Shield era, you didn't miss anything. You're coming in at a really cool time in the hobby here. $108.99, so 109 bucks. Uh, we've been seeing this around 110 uh, so that's pretty expected, but give it a little bit more time. You'll see it come down. You're going to find those deals at 100 105 so that will happen because they're going to want to print these out. The, the pack art works good. Pikachu in a crown actually doesn't look too bad, even though I'm not a big fan of that crown there. Look at this, Terrapogo EX, Ultra Premium Collection. Pokemon, again, pushing these out, trying to get this happening. 120 MSRP, we're already $30 off of that, and we don't even release till November. Pretty crazy, pretty crazy. I'm going to hold out, wait for a fire sale on that, and see what we can do. Same thing with that Greninja box. If it's anything like the Arceus V box was, uh, that came out, everybody thought it was kind of cool, but nobody wanted to really spend on it, so it was left there. Then there were fire sales happening through GameStop, trying to clear their shelves. I think I picked it up for 75 bucks or something, rather than the 110 120 whatever it was. I don't know. I don't know if it was a full-blown 120 at the time. It might have been close to it, something like that. And... Getting on a fire sale of 75 seemed to be worth it, and now the price has gone up over time because it was exclusive. A lot of people didn't go for it. People didn't go for it. They opened it up. There's a lot of different things to consider, and you can't always predict the market, but you can play off the what's been to see where you're going and play it a little bit smart. So hopefully nobody fumbled at 120 on this. Knowing we can get it at 90 right now is pretty crazy because I think it's going to be coming down even further than that. Josh's cards, one I have had experience with, uh, a good place to go. They have really great deals, and one of their best things is the $60 is their threshold for getting free shipping. So the fact that you could go into it spending 60 bucks getting free shipping versus pushing into $150, more than double, uh, just to get the free shipping. That's a really huge bonus when you're trying to spare your collection dollars uh, as you work through this hobby. So Josh's Cards is a go-to for me that I check regularly, even if it's going to be a little bit better uh, deal somewhere else, like $100 for a booster box versus $105, dollars 
well, the shipping could kill you if you're not willing to go beyond that. Um, but here, the shipping ends up being free, and now it ends up being cheaper. So you got to put into consideration, weigh all the options, make sense of it. We saw that set of four tins coming in at 80. You take another dollar off of each one, because that 80 would be 20 on each of these. So another four bucks off, and you're doing better here at 76 instead of going into 80. So you could save a little bit more. Yes, it's showing individual, but just pre-order, put it together. It'll come in the one package, you're good to go. So it's not like they're really packaged as a set. So uh, that's a good option there. I did pull out a few others here. Scarlet and Violet ETB uh, for Stellar Crown, 36 bucks. Not too bad. We've seen it a little bit cheaper elsewhere, but again, watch the shipping there. $39.99, this was just released. It's already $10 under MSRP. We've seen it better elsewhere. So if you're looking to bundle Shrouded Fables right now, maybe you're going to add a couple pre-orders for Stellar Crown or even go as far as uh, surging sparks but remember most places i can't speak for everybody but most places will not ship your order until the last product comes in all right so on pokemon center if you do a pre-order product and you have a product that's in stock they won't even allow you to do it you have to separate those cards okay if you go into something like josh's cards and you get a shrouded fable etb and you get a stellar crown etb you don't get either of them until stellar crown releases so be okay with it if you're going to be holding on just to get the better price wait and see if it's something you want to open now and you want to be a part of that release all that experience you know it might not be the right way to go or do separate carts and get to that free shipping in another way uh twilight masquerade 36 dollars i didn't really expect it to stay so low for so long i thought it'd start ticking up a little bit after shard of fable came out and seeing stellar crown on the horizon not going crazy not ticking up even to msrp but i thought consistently we'd see this at 40 dollars with no additional sales on it but i think we're seeing the opposite and maybe because there's so much out there and that greninja hunt is still on people are into it so stellar crown booster box 105 dollars uh after weighing the options between shipping and meeting the thresholds on that adding taxes and stuff uh, this was one of the better options for me. This is where I did my pre-order. So uh, I went through Josh's cards to get my pre-order for Stellar Crown. And I probably will do the same for Surging Sparks unless I find something else, maybe a bigger bundle, putting it together uh, and making that happen. Sorry I'm going so fast, but these videos are getting so long, and I wanted to just drink up these deals with you a little bit here and show you that there's so many places to go. How many different places? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different shops and that is just the tip of the spear, my friends. So seven different shops we looked at today and looking at deals. They are all over the place. It's a great time to be in the hobby. Don't get too crazy on it. <laughs> be selective. A lot of these are repeats looking at similar deals of similar products at different places. So it's really about you taking that final step of research and seeing what is it going to cost for you to have your investment piece? What is it going to cost for your pack opening experience? Whatever it is you do with the hobby and how you want to go. But let's start with free. Let's start with some free stuff here for you with that Galerian Articuno tin from Crown Zenith. The two three-pack blisters from Stellar Crown. That's what I'm going with for you. And a Pokemon Mystery Prize. I'm going out to four winners. Go back to the beginning of the video or check the description below. I show you exactly how to go and enter into this contest. 2,500 subscribers, and we hit that threshold. We are there. It's climbing fast. I think I think I do need to add in something for that 2,000 subscriber mark because that one, we are only a handful away, really. So once we get to that point, I think I'm going to sneak in another prize. So maybe next video I'll uh, be able to share what that is. And next video means tomorrow because I post seven days a week. With this kind of long-form content, sharing this stuff. I don't know many other PokeTubers who share seven days a week. People will mix it up with shorts. Others will mix it up with a lot of openings. I, I don't know if I'm the only one, but uh, it sure feels like it. <laughs> and it's really intense. So your support is so appreciated. And that's why I keep doing it for the community that keeps hanging out on this channel and just being a part of the community, sharing other channels and things like that. I love the fact that there's this cross-pollination and being a part of it. I'm talking too much. We got to go. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.